The only specialised tools you need are the one to remove the crank arm and the other is the bottom bracket removal tool. A torque wrench is handy though. This torque setting is printed on the bottom bracket and on the set screw that holds the crank on. Jace Hobbs the agent advised taking off the inner chain ring. This made it a lot easier to fit the magnetic sensor ring. Only thing to watch is the bottom bracket on the chain ring side is held in place with a right hand thread, so clockwise to undo. Now when you remove the inner chain ring, the chain falls off, so you have to make up a fitting to stop the front derailleur moving too far. Another alteration was to tack weld an extra piece to the torque arm. Probably not necessary, but I didn't like the way the derailleur fitted when the torque arm it was in place. Another alteration was to move the front shifter to the side frame. Easier said than done. The internal diameter of the tubes is different. The expanding fitting made from four wedges that locks it into place is slightly wider. A small amount of metal has to be removed from the inner surfaces of the wedges to allow them to close up slightly. A four-door chuck comes in very handy and a lathe, but you could file it out. The hose clip has nothing to do with the electric conversion, just stopped me from losing my steering adjustments. Now I'll give it a test and see if I can get over the new cycleway bridge over the Wairar River at Brightwater and see what speed I can get out of it.